Let's do a deep dive into Advantage Plus audience. All right, so when you create an ad set, it doesn't matter what the objective is now, you may see this. Audience controls and Advantage Plus audience. So this is as opposed to what we would normally do when we provide custom audiences, lookalike audiences, detailed targeting, you name it. Um, so not everybody has this yet, but you will know if you've got it because it's clearly different. So before we get to the audience controls, let's talk about um, just Advantage Plus audience generally and what it means. So but we'll read this too, right? So our ad technology automatically finds your audience. If you share an audience suggestion, we'll prioritize audiences matching this profile before searching more wi widely. So basically it's going broad. It just keeps keeps going broad, broader and broader, right? Now this utilizes the same technology um, or similar technology as Advantage Plus shopping targeting. And you may recall, you don't provide any targeting there really other than whether or not you wanna target your existing customers and you want if you wanna exclude anybody. So it's a similar approach, but it's also that it utilizes some of that same machine learning and AI to generate your audience. So you can provide an audience suggestion. It is optional. So it says, criteria you add here helps our system understand the type of people you wanna reach. When your suggestion is accurate, it can help find your audience faster. If you're not confident about the audience for this campaign, we recommend not adding an audience suggestion. So yeah, you can provide one. If you don't, it's gonna utilize your pixel history, conversion data, and engagement on pre previous ads to determine who sees your, your, your current ads, right? So super powerful. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and click on this. And now it looks pretty similar to what we're used to seeing, right? So the question becomes, because I, I know if, if you're me, if you're like me, I wasn't completely co confident with just saying, oh yeah, just go ahead and find the audience. Now, I think we should test that, absolutely. Um, but this is where I think it would be really smart to use general remarketing audiences, right? That uh, maybe like your website visitors, or it could be those people who visit your website more often or do something specific. Um, or, you know, maybe people who, I don't know, follow your page, follow your Instagram profile, whatever. It shouldn't, keep in mind, this isn't working like a lookalike audience. So if you're promoting a certain product, you shouldn't be thinking, okay, let's target the people who bought that product before as a suggestion. It's still going to target those people, right? And those people probably aren't going to buy it again, depending on the situation. So this is where I found, you know, kind of a middle ground to this idea of just going completely broad is using something that you're really confident that, you know, this signifies a really strong targeted audience and you know that meta will start there but then balloon and learn from it and then go super broad we don't know what that means like how broad it can go but what we do know is this is different from advantage detailed targeting advantage lookalike and advantage custom audience that it can go broader than those do um and also there's a reason why those are advantage and not advantage plus <laughs> And according to Meta, it's re related to the, the machine learning and AI that's used here. So experiment with this. Now, be, I want to make sure we talk about the audience controls here as well. So this is where you can indicate, you know, if there are certain countries uh, that people live in. And um, can we even put cities? I can't even remember. Yep, we could put cities too. Sorry, so cities, states, countries, and um, you can also do set a minimum age, right? Um, and again, don't, don't get crazy with things like minimum age unless it's like the law that you can't reach people uh, under a certain age, like alcohol, things like that. And then exclusions for obvious reasons. Again, don't get too crazy with exclusions unless there's a specific reason you're excluding them. So these are custom audiences we're excluding. If you're promoting a certain product or they can't buy that again, exclude them. 
pretty simple. Something else you may want to mess around with, something I like to do sometimes would be like, if I'm not that promoting blog posts isn't as much of a thing as it used to be, but I would exclude people already read that post. That would be an ex example of what you might use that for too. So you can use an age range here as well. In addition to the minimum age, just know that the minimum age will trump whatever you use here. So if you set a minimum age of 25, then you say 18 to 65 here, it's actually going to be 25 and up. All right. So that's really advantage plus targeting. This is the future or advantage plus audience. This is the future of targeting on Meta. And I strongly believe that in the not so distant future, we're going to see advantage detailed targeting, advantage look like, and advantage custom audience just go away because they're really not necessary anymore. And we're not seeing them um, here for obvious reasons. They're going to be confused. I can't even tell you, like even as I explain it, I sometimes have a diff difficult time because I know people are listening to that and say, well, how is that different from advantage, detail targeting, et cetera? It is, right? But it's, it's such a, a small difference that is difficult to explain that most people aren't going to understand. And it's supposed to work better. That's what Meta's saying too, that it's going to work better than your current targeting options. So I think in the future, what we're going to see is a lot of this, where it's going to go towards, um, yes, offering suggestions. I think we're seeing that with Google as well, right? With Google ads, offering suggestions and allowing Meta's AI machine learning, which hopefully gets better and better to broaden and do whatever they want. So experiment with providing suggestions, experiment with not providing any at all. And let's, I would say for whatever the objective is, whatever the optimization is, and we're all learning on the fly here to see how it goes. Um, the hope is that this is at least better than using some of those audience expansion tools in the past. And the hope is also that this is better than just going completely broad in the past without having Advantage Plus audience. So check it out. Let me know how it goes for you. And uh, when you tell me, oh, it doesn't work, experiment more than once, please. All right. So keep following my videos. This is a little experiment here, going a little deeper into a topic. Uh, follow my stuff. Go to johnloomer.com, johnloomer.com to learn more, get tutorials, a chat bot, private community, resources, all kind of stuff. All right. Take care.